UPS driver came up and unloaded this. It weighs 14 pounds. It's left it sitting by the back door and I brought it in. And first I thought it being from California is something my son sent me. So uh, I wrote and asked him, did he send me something? He said, nope, don't know anything about it. So then today on the on my YouTube account, I found out who it was from. And it's from one of my viewers, and he bought me an air fryer and sent it to me. I'm going to unbox it here. And yes, he here's the receipt for it. And it came from Sears in uh, well, it says on the front there, but anyway, it's from Sears. And see what's in here. Well, I got a one-time offer here on something. Air fryer multi cooker. Well, it looks like I've got a double box here, so I'm going to shut the camera off and get the second box out of the first box. I've read about air fryers, but I've never used one and haven't even checked it out on YouTube how it works and all that, so that's one of the things I'll have to do. But I've had a few of my viewers send me some very thoughtful and helpful gifts and I, I appreciate them so much. Got the instruction book here which I'll have to read. Got the power cord. Got the little styrofoam thingy here. And got it down in here. I'm going to have to lay the box down to get that out, so, so here it is. Yeah. The Mega Chef, it says on top of it. Burgundy color. Ready. Now, this is a drawer, it's not a handle to lift it by. Got that. Got all the instructions here on top. Pull the drawer open. Oh, okay. This is what you cook in here. I'll have to evidently, well, it's some kind of a there push button and the bottom and a basket here. And it says it's three and a half quarts. This is all sealed up here at the top. The only thing to take apart is the door here. So, plastic protection.
connector on here, peel that off. And before I go any further with this, I'm going to have to get into the instruction book and see what it's doing. Well, I found a home for it here. It fits perfectly on there. I was concerned that I'd have room for it in this tiny little kitchen, but uh, by moving a few things around, well, I found a home for it. So now I'll read the instruction book, and next thing you'll see is me actually using it for something. Well, this is the dinner we got today, and it's been in the refrigerator. So I'm going to move the salad over into a bowl and it's going to be a perfect chance to use this air fryer to rewarm the baked chicken. I could do it in the microwave but it would be kind of soft and pliable on the outside and we've got squash there so bring this over here and put this baked chicken in here. Well, I've read the instruction book on it. Press these two here to turn it on. There it is. Okay. Whoops. 380. And about 12 minutes. Okay, there's the little wheel going. Okay, it's that's simple enough. Well, I set it for three sixty degrees for for sixteen minutes that it called for. Oh, that's nice and crispy on the outside. Had I heated it in the microwave, it'd be soft and gooey. Put this back in now. And I've heated the uh, squash. So I'm going to take this to the table and have dinner. Well, I'm just going to eat out of the box that we got it in instead of bothering with the plate. I warmed the uh, roll in uh, the microwave. And but first I want to check this chicken out here to see how it came out. Nice and crispy on the shell out here. And I know from past experience if I'd have done this in the microwave it would have been soft and soggy and like it is in a mi microwave. Taste of a bite of this. That is nice and crispy on the crust. And Tastes great. So I think that air fryer is going to be something I'll use. Takes a little getting used to it, but have to get have to get used to a lot of things. Check this grass wash out. Need some salt. Oh, 
Personally, I like squash. You know, I make uh, frozen burritos quite often and put them in the freezer and bring them out one at a time for breakfast. <clears throat> and I was in there and checked heating frozen burritos, and they showed that in several <clears throat> uh, YouTubes, and it looks like an ideal way to do that instead of using the microwave, which makes them kind of soggy, and the uh, tortilla gets dry whenever you do that in a microwave, but I think that this will make them nice and crispy. So, God bless America. God bless Texas.